Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to Aspire 2 Overview. Prior to making this intro, I actually had to prepare myself and watch my first game's review. It's simply because I forgot like why this game was not received as well as it should have been. And now it's like forgotten in the VR space even though it released two years ago only. Nevertheless, the sequel is here and let's see if this time it's better. So Aspire 2 is a stealth action packed game where controlling multiple robotic frames you take on the office, a terrorist group that wants total global domination, to once again cross their plans. From my personal resources I've gathered that the first game was fairly solid but it's been postponed to infinity and delayed so much that no one really cared after its release. On top of that apparently I felt that the campaign didn't feel like an actual thing that is story driven, but more like an objective based challenge maps with just no really sense. The devs claim that the sequel will bring more polish overall and a full on co-op mode that's possible to play throughout all of its glory. Thing is that I don't know why they specify there are two unique campaigns. What does it really mean? Like normally a game has one campaign like very much consistent from the beginning and the end. This is like a separation. Does that mean there are two missions or two campaigns or two stories? Like it's a little bit confusing unless they reworked the first game and then put in the sequel like additional stuff that was already done. I'm not really a fan of repeating content but it would be nice for the people that didn't try the first game. I'll try to focus on the new stuff in the gameplay though. Aside from the frames, voice activation, dynamic combat, I didn't really see anything that was not previously done so I just wish everything in this whole package will work properly and this release will be a success this time around. Let's go to the gameplay! Aspire is a remote controlled humanoid drone. It sees you see. It hears. You hear. You move. It moves. <laughs> it's actually literally the same menu as the first game. But something happened. Oh my god. Ew, creepy. No, <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. Terminating eyes simulation 13. Just pixels. The system needs trained on a live candidate. But right now, it might fry any brain we put in it. We don't have a choice. Bring in the POE. Ew. Hostile force, we need to get in there ASAP via a smile. All units, hostiles <laughs> in the area. Begin. We'll be taking it from here. Lo, can you fry this thing for us? A counterfeit soldier, a puppet for puppets. They left us in the dust. They'll do the same too. A little bit trippy. I don't know what do I do though. Kill everyone? Surround them! Take them down! They've locked it! <laughs> it's all locked up! It's done! We're done! This looks so creepy. No, Director. The primary operator is still in a coma. Giving eyes full cortex access is too risky. I understand the risks, but our hands are tied. We have to do this. Dector, plug them in. Wait, Poe, can you hear us? 
It's Colonel Sandra Pyre. Connections active. Ho, oh, we've got you. Eyes, run a movement test. Initiating Espire kinematics system. Use your left thumbstick to pilot the Espire unit. Use your right thumbstick to pivot. Action time. Movement seems normal, Colonel Pyre. Then keep investigating the hitch. Any anomaly could slow us down. Poe, oh, it's good to have you back. Access the security system up ahead, near the blast windows. Let's get to business. Yeah, that's how it works. Bypassing enemy systems. Up there, the missile will launch from that facility. And security doors are disabled. Nice one, eyes. don't want to hurt them. How dull. Puppets for puppets. Puppets for puppets. Okay, I'm aiming with the hand, not with the arm. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I can just look there. Oh, now you're putting me to sleep. None without all. None without all. Kinda of weird aiming in two ways or movement locked. God, I said stop! Po, what are you doing? It it's just like before. Like Poe's in a trance. Those guards damaged the unit. Eyes, assist with immediate repairs. Place your arm in the ready pose, just like the example shown. Extract the repair tool that has ejected from your forearm. To repair damage, hold the trigger down to activate all damage repaired. Movement unlocked. Repairing will drain your unit's charge. Keep a lookout for energy cells. We can't afford any more problems. Press on. Ah, I see. Hmm. Doors are stuck. Use a spire vision to find a way around. To activate a spire vision, raise your hand next to your head and hold down the trigger. Release to deactivate. Ah, okay. Yeah, Tuggle is definitely better. Ah, whatever. Do we just brute force? Oh shit, my stuff. Can I do it actually? Looking for metal. Looking for metal. That actually separates good games from the bad games if you can do it physically. Ah. Oh, hello. Get low. Put your hand below. Wait, you're back online. Right, 
primary operator. Cranial analysis complete. Thanks, Ace. Uh, those Vikings are very different. Should we abort? I warned Chow about this, but we can't fail. We need to stop the launch. I know you can do this, Poe. Repairing tool, okay. Our fists, yeah. I much prefer that. No power. Breaker box is up on that gantry. Grip onto the scaffolding and climb to the top. To hoist yourself up, grip the edge and push your hands down to your hips. Aspire units can climb any metal surface. This is not metal though, and I still can do it. Even the game does not know its mechanics. on the other side of that fence, but we'll need to use the Aspire Cradle to reach it. Oh, get close to that Aspire Cradle to activate it. Cradle's primed. You'll need to open the pause menu, select Possess, and 3D print a new Aspire frame. <laughs> okay. This is the Possession menu. Use this at any time to possess a new frame from an active cradle. New Aspire frame is online. If you lose your unit, you'll be able to possess a new one from here. But you and I's, your minds are intertwined. Losing a unit could harm you. <laughs> Plus, they cost a fortune. Okay, I see. Tower will arrive any moment for inspection. Run every checklist again. Good, Roger that. Hmm. It's very slow paced this tutorial compared to the first one. Enemies ahead. There, through the glass. Poe, use Aspire Vision to tag them. Hold the trigger when your hand is next to your head to enable it. Then focus the reticle on an enemy to mark and track their location. Do I have to be undetected? I mean... I can't just do that. Yeah, that works. Oh. <laughs> Camera feed disconnected. Hostile inbound. Oh, shit. Unit 
We've lost CCTV in your area. Please investigate. I'm not sure if I like this aiming. It's like in rapid speed it can be very finicky. Your repair tool can short circuit electronic threats like turrets, trip mines. I don't have to. Interrogate this soldier. Get behind them, bring your hand to your mouth, and say, put your hands up out loud. Put your hands up. You had one order. Check the body. Be gentle. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Where are your friends? They're sitting ducks. You're gonna kill them, right? Oh, um... What the heck? Like, what's going on? Take what's not yours, are we? Hope through destruction. Hope through destruction. You'll need more than a few bullets to stop us. Well, that was our fourth blackout. We need another candidate. The slam's gonna fire at this rate. No, we can still win this. Poe can stop Ophus. Roger that. Poe, all Ophus weaponry has a biometric lock on the trigger. You can use your repair tool to bypass it. While gripping the repair tool, hold the trigger down to run the electric pulse over the yellow orb, just like for repairs. She's all yours. Bear in mind you'll be low on charge. Movement unlocked. Another blackout. Poe, try to keep it together. I feel like I'm tripping. If you open a backup cradle, you'll find ammunition and weaponry. A Dector Special. Aspire specializes in stealth. Going in loud risks losing your unit and putting the mission in jeopardy. The problem is that I don't have time for games, so... Hasta la vista. The scale of Ophus's operations are staggering. Enough gear here to invade a small country, almost. Soldiers missed their report. Strike team inbound. Investigate. Report back. Attention all units. We have a critical security breach. Find and eliminate any intruder. This takes time. Oh my god. Ah. Unit has taken damage. All units, we have lost sight of the enemy. Sweep the area and eliminate the Camera intruders. feed disconnected. Hostile inbound. CCTV down. Unit, investigate the area for any disturbances. I'm good. That cargo elevator is our ticket to good. The elevator is on its way down. I see you.
<laughs> that should work. All units, we've lost sight of the enemy. Return to your posts and remain on high alert. Hostiles on the elevator. Hide. The hell? There is a wrench to it or something? I have to stop here because my recording is gonna crash if I play too long. So far it's nice. I'm not sure about this um, tranquilizer aiming, but like that's nitpicking stuff. It seems like we have, yeah, two campaigns like they stated, but it's split to three missions. That does not seem a lot for playthrough. I don't know, I would have to play more to actually get the gist of the length of the game. Overall, I like it. I'm not sure what's different from the first game. Like, it exactly seems to be the same. You either play it chaotically or stealthy. You have an opportunity to choose your own gameplay and that's pretty fun. I don't really see much upgrade overall. Like, I don't feel the progress and I'm not sure if I'm missing key features because I did not play enough, but so far it's fine. A little bit chaotic with the storyline and what's going on, but that's normal when you play only like 20 minutes. Am I interested in doing a playthrough of it? Not totally sure. I feel like there are much higher priority targets on my mind currently, but judging from what I've tried today, it's fine. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say more.